you come to the trial, and and there you are, face to face with with the murderers. Did you want to be there? Did you want to be in the same room as those men, or or would you have preferred to have stayed away? Oh, hell yes. I wanted to brag that I was alive. You know, I did, and I wanted to look them in the eye. That doesn't mean to say I was exactly heroic at the trial. First of all, the trial was, uh, you know, it was all so surreal. I mean, I've never been to court except for speeding a few times, you know, but this was the regional court. This wasn't like some Ben Mishpat Shalom. And I had all these expectations of high ceilings and judges in white wigs. And you walk in and it's like one tenth the size of this room. It looks like a bomb shelter. It's so noisy. People are like wandering in and out like tumbleweed. You know what I mean? Talking about the coffee machine is broken. And, and I'm five metres away from the people who tried to murder me. Uh, first of all, we had three judges. And the, the chief judge, he was a real mumbler. I mean, there was all these buses. And then there were the hand signals, you know, I mean, look, to, to exaggerate a little, but it was so informal. It, it, there wasn't anything like silence in court, silence in court, no, no gavel, it's like... <laughs> or, or, and there's, there's not even like, well, there was, but you know, I expected, how, did, how does the defendant plead? <laughs> but it was like the judge was me, 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 me. So the judge didn't understand, the state prosecution couldn't hear what the judge was saying. I think this is going to be an amazing trial. I'll probably be the one who sentenced the... <laughs> and, then, 